day I was uh, cutting the grass and I seen uh, some bees on the back end of the uh, house right here. So uh, about two months ago and I didn't pay no mind to it. And then about a week ago I was looking for some crab ball and when I opened the cabinet, wow, the bees were like full of bees in the cabinet. So here's Jude, I called Jude uh, right. to come take care of the situation. Wow. So here we go and we're gonna see what he got. Mm. Wow. Wow. All right. Oh, yeah. They ain't no fun. No. They ain't playing. What about the house? They're going to be all over. <laughs> They're going to be all over your house. All right. <laughs> That's just the way it's going to be. This is inside the house. In the cabinet. <laughs> I wow. think this is a first. So, boy, woo, woo, woo there's some hot bees. <laughs> oh, uh, wait, I'm trying to get you some honey, man. I'll let you taste some of that honey. I fixed one yesterday, boy, it does help. Wow. <laughs> woo! Man, two, three stings before I even get started. All right, Mr. Perry. Say it again. This is the best medicine that God made. Now right you got here. a couple bees. Don't bite the bees. Go uh, ahead. <laughs> <laughs> My daddy had that, so I ended up getting it. So you do what your dad does, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's good in French. Ça c'est bon. So this is uh, I'm in Galliano, Louisiana. This is uh, they call it the cabana. Uh, the bees are going in through this hood vent right here. Um, I'm working alone today, so I'm uh, I'm gonna suit up. That way, if I start getting stung, I don't have to stop and suit up. Uh, this is the little kitchen. I hung this up to try to keep the bees out of the building. Um, here we go, and they're going through that vent and. In the cabinet, right here. Here we go. I used to try to cut out as much, I used to try to save as much cone and honey to put in the new box. Um, I've kind of learned over the years to cut that back. Um, the more cone you have, the more honey drips and uh, it drowns the bees, they get stuck in it and get trapped in it. So I actually cut most of the the um, honey out and transfer mostly the brood uh, to try to keep from drowning the bees. So Mr. Perez, the guy that hired me to do this job, seems to be a really, really cool character. So, him and his dad's been making nets. Uh, well, I, the guy that hired me, Perez, um, he's been making nets himself for 45 years. He started in business with his dad. So, um, uh, I think 65 years with his dad. His dad's passed away. So, we got bees going to the light, which they always go to the light. I, um, Took the screen out this window and open it so the bees coming in can get back out and back around. Try to keep from killing them. So this here, we're gonna shake the bees off, put it aside. So we'll just keep working our way back. Hopefully we find the queen. I don't always find the queen. Um, Sometimes it just don't happen. She'll run from you. She'll get in the crack. So if we end up with this hive in my yard without a queen, I will um, I will put a queen with them. I'll requeen them. So here's what we're looking for to save this part of it. This is the brood, the baby bees. The eggs, that's all the stuff you want to save. Um, 
if you don't get the queen, they have a good possibility of raising the queen from a uh, from a very young larvae. So uh, this is the part we're really looking to save. Once I get this in the box, the bees will be more willing to stay in the box. Until then, they, I'm dumping them in, but they they're going to be flying out as fast as I dump them in. So this will be the first piece of cone I'll actually put in the beehive. I'm going to cut it right under the honey here. Try not to get too much of this honey um, dripping on them. So this is going to be a big old nice piece of cone here. I think we're going to cut it in half. It's too much to handle. Alright. Perfecto. The whole time we're doing this, we'll be looking for the queen. Um, I mean, usually about a 50% chance of finding the queen. Um, sometimes when you don't find her, you do get her in the box. So, it's so hard to say. So we just rub the band it in. Alright. So we'll do three or four frames like that. And as we start putting the bees in here, they'll be more likely to stay. <sighs> Alright, I'm going to cut this honey out the way. And then I'm going to go in and get this big brood nest. Alright, so this, this is a good, good brood nest here. We gotta try to save most of this. I'm gonna cut it right under the honey. There's honey at the top. It's usually brood, pile, and, and then honey on top. I'm trying to stay out of that honey a little bit. So this is this is perfect, perfect, perfect brood nest. Um, I'm gonna fill up the whole thing. You see how how invasive it is to, to the bees, but um, it's really just the only option you have to do it. Kurt, my name is Kurt Perez, and uh, Chewy came uh, get all the bees and the honey out. We had a bee problem, and uh, we are. Uh, God blessed us, and uh, we uh, bon, we know that uh, Bon Ton, he said, I read Jude, uh, I hope God blesses them and gives them a uh, long life, Jesus' name. Thank you.